Hi and um, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Today we will look at chapter 4 on business objectives. And so without wasting any more time, let's move on. Today we will be looking at two things in business objectives. First, we'll look at what objective really means and then we'll look at why they are very important in a business. To understand what objectives are, let's look at um, a context of a student. Let's say, for example, you and what objectives mean to you. Right? So, what is your objective as a student? Right? What do you plan to do or plan to achieve as a student? Basically, your objective would mean what you plan to achieve as a student. Right? How would you measure this objective? So do you think you can achieve this objective? Do you have the resources to achieve this objective? And how long you think you will need to achieve this objective? So this is maybe still a little vague for you. So um, let's put some examples. Your objective needs to be specific. So when you say, what do you plan to achieve as a student? An example, a specific example would be, well, to score an A for business studies, right? And how would you measure this objective would mean that your objective needs to be measurable. How to quantify or, you know, to know when you are achieving that objective. For example, in this context, you could say, if I'm able to score at least 80% in the coming exams, then yes, um, that's how I would, would achieve an A in business studies. Now, you need to ensure that your objective to score an A is something that is attainable, something that you would be able to achieve. For example, you would say, yes, it is achievable because my current score is a B, so it's closer to reaching an A, so I believe it is achievable. Next, you will need to look at the resources or the important items that you need to help you achieve this A, right? So in this context, as a student, you would say, yes, I have a teacher and I can ask him or her. And I also have revision materials, so it would be able to help me. Now, finally, your objective needs to be timely, which means you need to have a start and end time in achieving the, a particular goal. So in this case, you would say to get an A, I would specify three months to reach that. A more specific time would perhaps be putting a, a date you know, or, or a month to just make sure that you're able to really um, achieve that A within before that date comes. So let's look at the importance of setting objectives. And before we do that, let's understand as well what, uh, how to define an objective. So based on the example we have learned previously about you know, reaching a goal, um, getting an A in business studies, uh, a general definition for an objective would be a target right, or an aim uh, that you set. So in the context of a business, an objective would mean a target or an, or an aim that a business sets to achieve. So if you think that as a student, setting an objective to achieve an A is important, then you would also agree that a business needs to set objectives as well for these following reasons, right? The first one, without an objective, there is no sense of direction in the business, right? Um, what are we going to achieve? What, why are we here for? And therefore, an objective is, is important in that, that, expect, that aspect. Secondly, your employees would know what the business would want to achieve and therefore they would be, be able to provide the support and you know, even new uh, potential employees who wants to join the company would know what the company is looking towards and aiming for and would uh, be able to you know, apply for a job knowing what the business is looking for. Now, it's also a way to assess a business performance. If there is no targets or aims in, in, in life or, or in a business, you are not clear on whether or not you're actually achieving those aims. So setting a target uh, or an aim helps you uh, reach a potential. 
Also for investors, they are clear with what the business is looking for and the aims of the business, and they would feel more confident in supporting the business in whatever their aims may be. Now, you learned prior about this SMART method. Basically, SMART stands for S, specific, all right? Your goals need to be specific on what you really want to achieve. M, it should be measurable, which means how do you quantify, how do you know when you have achieved something that is uh, it's important for you to be able to measure it. A is attainable, something that is realistic, something that you know you can achieve. R is resource-based. You have enough resources to help you achieve that particular goal. And T, there is a time frame set on achieving that objective before you decide whether or not it is achievable. Now, let's look, if, look at this uh, particular uh, objective of a company. And what do you think? Let me know what, whether you think this is a smart objective or otherwise. So what do you think about the objective that was set previously about how the company is looking at growing bigger and to dominate the market that they sell products in? Is it specific? Are you Were you able to measure it? Do you think it's attainable? Uh, do you think the company would have the resources or the employees or the skills required to dominate and grow bigger? Uh, do you think there was a specific time frame in achieving that objective? So similar to this picture here that you see, and you would have seen this um, in the beginning of the slide, an objective should be something smart to ensure that it is achievable. As you can see, employees are holding hands together, reaching the peak of the mountain where they put a flag there to say that they have achieved something. So it starts, it starts from bottom up. It starts from having a clear objective of what to achieve. Otherwise, it's quite difficult for the employee to reach the top. All right. So in other words, an objective helps employees support the business plan to reach the top. The objective that you've heard about or you've read about just now, it's not a very smart one because it's not specific, measurable, attainable, okay, or, and whether or not you have the resources and it is not time bound. Therefore, it's quite difficult for anyone to achieve an objective that huge but vague. So the important uh, terms that we have learned today will be covered in this slide. And please do take note of this so that you can revise further on your own. What are objectives, aims or targets? It's future oriented and it's also very smart in, in terms of how uh, an, an objective should be set. The importance of objectives is to understand where the business is going, to have the confidence of important stakeholders. All right? It's also to a way to uh, track a business performance and it's also a way to gain support from employees to help a business achieve its objectives. We've come to the end of our class today. Um, I will be preparing more notes on this chapter as this is just the beginning of business objectives. Um, if you are preparing for the coming exams, I hope the slides I've prepared for you is useful. And until I talk to you again in the next class, have a pleasant day.